I deployed Delinear PAM multiple times and I've broken it down into four steps to get this configured and take control of your accounts. If you're looking at implementing a PAM solution, you're probably trying to solve some of these problems. You have a lack of control around privileged accounts. You want monitoring and auditing around these privileged accounts, reducing your privileged account attack surface, and you want to reduce credential theft risk. So where do you start implementing a PAM solution? Well, these four steps will help you. The first thing you need to do is identify where your privileged accounts are. So they're usually stored in your main identity provider, which is typically Active Directory or Microsoft. And you can use a Delinear scanner, which is an out of the box scanner that you use to understand where your service accounts are, privileged domain accounts, or even the local accounts on machines. Because it's a plug and play scanner, you can deploy this using your Delinear instance named a distributed engine, which will carry out the scanning capability and find all of these accounts across all of your local servers and domains. The scanner is powerful and you want to make sure that all accounts are found during this stage so that you can eventually bring them in and control them within your environment. So how do you do that? Once you've found all of the accounts, you need to bring in that control aspect. And this means importing your accounts into the Delinear platform. And you're essentially validating that you understand their location and the account type. So for example, you could have a domain account and it could be running a service on a specific server. This information provides a level of control and understanding of these accounts. And it delivers a level of understanding what the risk is. So if it's a highly privileged service account on a server that's also highly privileged, now you have control and understanding over that account. Delinear has a really easy workflow as well to enable you to import these accounts into the platform. And you can create a folder structure for these secrets when you import them that suits your organization and is custom. Because we've set up discovery, the local account passwords and service account passwords, we can actually also rotate these passwords at any time. So this could be daily, monthly, whenever you need to. A Greenfield's PAM deployment is typically focused around these type of accounts. So privileged domain accounts or privileged service accounts, but the focus for your organization obviously should be very specific based on your risk appetite. Great, so now we've discovered and imported your accounts. Now you need your privileged administrators to actually start using the platform. So our next step is to onboard the standard accounts of the administrators. This means they log into the platform and they obtain their privileged credentials. This allows you to have a centralized source for your privileged access. Now, it can sometimes be hard to get administrators to use a new system or really anyone to use a new system. So a great way to force users to start using a PAM solution is to rotate their passwords. So if you rotate these administrators' passwords once a day, they'll have to log into the platform and grab their credentials. Without doing that, they won't be able to access any of their privileged systems. And Delinear makes this really easy. You can actually launch SSH connections or RDP connections straight from the platform. So if you're on the domain, uh, in the environment or on a VPN, you simply log into Delinear, grab your credentials and you can launch a session. There is a feature where if you're off the domain, you can use privileged remote access. And this actually allows you to get into the organization infrastructure remotely. So you don't need a VPN or anything like that. You just simply hit the RDP or SSH and we can set up some infrastructure with Delinear to make sure that it passes you through and you get access to that environment. This is really handy for things like vendor access. So if you need to give temporary access, um, but you don't want to have to go and set up you know, a VPN and install these things on their computer, you can give them privileged remote access. Great, so now we've onboarded and privileged users are using the platform. You have the ability to monitor and audit all of their access. So if someone views a secret, you can understand that they've viewed it. If you want to generate a report of who has access to which folders, you can do that as well. There's a lot of in-depth discovery that you can do with this auditing method that you really miss out without having a PAM solution. And from a compliance perspective, this full audit process hits controls like the CIS control five account management and even the NIST compliance controls. So those are your four steps. It's easy to look at PAM as this big thing to unbox. It's really, really complicated. But if you break it down into these four steps, it actually makes it easier to have this process and a structured plan. So remember, this is just the beginning of a PAM impl implementation. There are more things to unpack and 
Lots and lots of different features that are really, really cool. If you're interested in this, you can download my brochure from my website where I've got the four steps outlined. And it really does help me if you like and subscribe to this video. Thank you.